Welcome one and welcome all, baby, to the People's Channel, Orchids for Dummies. The People's Channel. Now, this is a no judgment zone because this is my indoor growth space. It's not much, but guess what, Boo Boo Kitty? It's mine. Okay, in today's video, I am going to share with you the difference between bright and direct light. And you know just full strength of the sun. But you gotta stay tuned. So welcome on back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please like this video. Okay, like this video. Go ahead, do that for me. Okay, in addition to that, subscribe uh, to the People's Channel. The People's Channel. Okay, so these are my Phalaenopsis orchids in my Uncidiums. I do have a Dendrobium or two or three <laughs> down here and a Cattleya, you know, that is out of flower. That's a whole different video. But what you want to pay attention to is the ones that are in bloom. They are in bloom because just in the winter, which is still winter, it's January, but back in um, November and December, the sun did not have the shingles or it was below the shingles. So that sun was a lot stronger. It was a lot stronger than what it is now. Now this is east facing window getting soft and supple lighting because of that shingle and because the sun is now higher, okay? It is not as close to the ground as it was. So 8.30 in the morning, you can see the peekaboo of the sun. Just a couple of months ago, it was below the horizon of the shingle. So they was getting very, very strong and adequate sunlight. Believe it or not, your miniature Phalaenopsis orchids are some of the most light-loving orchids on the market. Okay, so with that being said, darling, the sun is now going to go higher and higher, up and up, and the sun on this window is going to be less and less. But in my living room, ha ha! sun is going to be very strong which is going to prompt those orchids that might have been dormant or slow growing to spike stay so tuned it's 8 30 in the morning they are getting direct sunlight you see they're getting a direct sunlight but not too much and i do monitor them so welcome on back, baby, to a no judgment zone. It's a no judgment zone. I told you it's not much, but it's mine. Okay, you got to understand that. That's true tea. Okay, so this is my indoor orchids again. It's now 4 p.m. So this is that bright and direct sunlight. Okay, this is what they're talking about. This is what the word on the curb is. The light needed for a Phalaenopsis orchid. What they don't tell you is, and if you're trying to get it to bloom, Boo Boo Kitty, what you're gonna need to do is either get you some grow lights or you're gonna have to put it somewhere where it is getting that sun that we saw earlier up there with my Vandas. That bright, bright sun, honey, okay? Now, if you can see these orchids that are in bloom, okay, what I do want to uh, let you know is if you give them that stability, if they are growing for you typically, that is a good indication to leave them alone because they are doing just fine if they are growing, okay? If they are not on the decline, honey, don't you get to messing with them. Cutting off the roots and, you know, moving them on, putting them on the flow and, you know, trying to chase the sunlight. That's not what we're doing in 2021. 
Okay, so stay uh -huh. tuned. So look here, this is my living room. Okay, we have orchids for dummies. Okay, with Fab Pal Randy on the TV screen. And I want you guys to be able to see the amount of light, okay, that these orchids are getting now in January 2021, girl. January 2021, okay? Now, when the summertime comes, this is where um, I would get the lightest, the longest light that will actually reach all the way to this back wall. Now, this is the amount of light they are receiving by their self. So, that is why mama had to add a little grow light, okay, just to get them to balloon. That's what we are doing. I'm in the process of watering that orchid. I already told you, it's no judgment zone. Welcome to Orchids for Dummies. Make sure to like this video. Like it. One, two, three, go. Okay, now that you've liked this video, we are going to continue because what I want to share with you is that a lot of times you can use things that you've are more familiar with to help you okay get a better understanding of growing something that is a little bit different unfamiliar unknown to you okay so you got a pothos you've been growing a pothos all your life so you know the light requirements for the pothos you you know when you get to see that bar barrigation that means that it is getting adequate. Adequate. Now, that adequate light for a pothos, because a pothos will let you know the same day or the next day if this light is not good for her, okay? Can I get an amen? Because some of you girls know, okay? You at home with your pothos. Girl, you move her from here to down there, and she gets to droop and saying, oh, no, God. No, God. Put me back. Put me back. Okay, especially when they get to veining or, you know, branching out, if you will, they are getting adequate light. That is the same adequate light you would need for that Phalaenopsis orchid. However, like I said, if you want to bump it up to the next step, honey. Fail Pills, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, like it, baby. Subscribe to the People's Channel. I'm all about community. I'm all about bringing people together. That's a gardener. He never had an orchid a day in his life. I gave that to him because, girl, that's how you get him started. Now he's calling me every week saying, girl, I'm at the lows. Girl, I'm trying to see what orchids they got. Girl, I'm, I'm moving orchids out the way, getting comfortable looking at the roots and the leaves. Girl, he gave me a tomato plant. My first tomato plant. You heard it here first, people. Girl, this is what it's all about. It's about each one teach one. It's about, you know, reaping the benefits of your labor. Not a get rich quick scheme. Okay, but we are sharing fellowship, if you will. We are each one teach one. I tell you what I know. I'm not in competition with you. I support you. I love that we are growing things together. And we are able to be connected. In a positive way that gets us from being in the house, inside of our Sabbath couture, inside of those negative thoughts. Okay? Know who you are in Christ and walk in it in authority. Knowing that your gift, ha, is in the script shop, will bring you into the presence of kings. Oh, girl, girl, don't get me to testifying, honey. Let me let you go, honey, because, girl, I will give you a whole good, good old testimony. But what we're going to do is keep it nice and keep it cute. If you want to hear me talking about Jesus Christ, honey, you're going to have to stay tuned. Thursday, 7 p.m. Central Time for Bible Study for Beginners. Stay tuned. All right. Welcome back, Fail Pals. So the sun is way over yonder now, and I don't have that type of window, which would be a west facing window 
I don't have that type of window to supply that type of light. However, that is normally the type of sunlight that will give you that sunburn. So thank God for that. Thank God for the apartment complex, you know, providing these shingles, which ultimately keeps your home cooler. Okay, thinking outside of the box. So this is a no judgment zone. I'm not going to keep telling you that. It's just the fact that you know me and I don't know you. Okay, that's what I I want you guys to understand so um you got to be grateful for what you have before you can actually get what you desire okay so welcome baby to the people's channel here we have a dendrobium okay now this dendrobium look crunchy crunchy munchy munchy okay i'll make a little quick video showing you how i water this but i can tell you i'm not keeping up with it thank god for sphagnum moss honey because honey she will give you at least a good month before you have to water it again now this is what is being the most productive and so if it's growing it is happy yes some leaves are falling down the longer you grow the more you're going to be able to understand the language of these orchids. You know. So, um, I hope this made sense to you, girl. I hope you like this video. I hope you telling people out there that you too can grow. You can do it, baby. Each one to each one. We're not keeping the knowledge. We're not selling the knowledge. And we just making it fun. And we keeping it cute. And we keeping it classy. Oh!